we kind of evolved from full tillage back in the mid 90s to no-till system of planting corn and then when the John Deere 750 drills came out we got one of those right away for handling the soybeans and we still use that. But the no-till corn it worked but yields were stagnant we didn't have all the genetic events like the Roundup Ready and the BTs and rootworm corn and which have definitely helped but it just was always a struggle just no-till on the corn. We're getting to where we just had too many attachments on a planter to really make it function properly. And then I kind of evolved in in the later 90s into what they call the Rawson system, the three colders right ahead of the planter. On the right conditions that worked excellent, but on a wet sticky spring you were just always planting into wet dirt and the planter would ball up. Then we kind of evolved into strip till and we ran Oh, a couple different shank machines for 10 years and really like that. That really got, and then we were doing it in the fall and then planting on those strips next spring. And here in 08, uh, we were running an eight row system. We needed to move to a 16 row system for increased acres and didn't want to spend the money for the high horsepower and the high draft load of a 16 row shank machine and been looking at the Dawn strip till units for several years and then we decided to go that route and now we've evolved into doing all our strips in the spring basically four hours to four days ahead of the planter and have really had excellent results with that system right but the strip till really got us to where we we had that nice fine dry dirt on top you had something a planter could function in and now with the spring strip till with the dawn units or the colder type units uh, that just, we get that done, let it gray off good, dry a little bit, you got good moisture underneath, and it just makes an excellent uh, trash-free seed bed to plant into, whether it's corn on soybeans or corn on corn.